Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm looking at GPD's line of tiny uh, computers. These are all Windows PCs, and two of them are already available, and the third one is coming very, very soon as of uh, when I'm shooting this. I'm checking out their uh, offerings at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, and what we're looking at here is something called the GPD uh, Pocket 2, which was released in 2018, and the GPD Win 2, which is a handheld gaming uh, computer that was also released in 2018. And this is the GPD Micro PC, which is a new sort of lower cost and uh, a uh, sort of different functionality device that is being released in 2019. So, if you look at the uh, the three of them together, I'm having a hard time opening one, so let me put down the camera for a second. The Pocket looks like a laptop. Uh, it's got a pretty keyboard that you can sort of type uh, with as if you were using a regular keyboard. The It has a 7-inch touchscreen display. The Win 2 has a sort of thumb style keyboard and gaming uh, control buttons here. And the Pocket, or the Micro PC, is a brand new class of device that is uh, powered by a lower power processor. It has an Intel Gemini Lake quad core processor, an N4100. It has a lot of ports here on the back, including Ethernet and a serial port, the uh, RS232, as well as HDMI, USB Type C, uh, a couple of USB Type uh, A ports, those are USB 3. There's another one and a micro SD card slot. And it's really aimed at a variety of different people. People who are looking for something that's small and affordable, that offers decent performance, as well as possibly professionals who might want uh, access to those extra ports that we saw on the back. So if we, uh, if we take a closer look at this device, it's gonna sell for about $300 during a crowdfunding campaign. That's a rough price. The final pricing hasn't been decided yet. It's gonna be available via a crowdfunding campaign probably on Indiegogo in February, and it'll ship after that campaign ends in 30 or 45 days. So you might be able to get your hands on it in, uh, in say, April or March or April. Uh, it doesn't have a touchscreen display, which is interesting. Instead, it has this wide, uh, I mean, relatively wide touch pad here on the side, and we've got left and right buttons here. Uh, the power button, a fan switch, so you can actually turn the fan on and off during use, and the keyboard, which, when I gave it a sort of early test, it's um, not exactly ideal for 10 finger typing, you can sort of get away with a little bit, but it works pretty nicely for thumb typing. Uh, this model has a full HD 6 inch screen and the keyboard is a little bit larger than on the Win 2, which does make um, uh, thumb typing, it's a little bit more spread out, it's taller, the keys are bigger, makes thumb typing a little bit more of a comfortable experience. It does have a sort of unusual layout with the number keys up here on the top and some of the function keys up on the top, but the arrow keys are nice down here on the bottom. The uh, There's a sort of nice slope to the keys that makes them feel pretty good when you're, uh, when you're using them, and then it's very easy to sort of reach up and navigate. Uh, I, I had to remind myself a few times that it doesn't have a touch screen, but once I got used to that, it's not hard to sort of get stuff done using uh, this sort of layout. And the fact that it's going to sell for about $300 and up definitely makes it a more interesting device uh, than some of the others for people who are looking for something relatively inexpensive. Uh, GPD has uh, pointed out that they're going to have this little lanyard chip standard with it. It seems like a little thing, but it does make it into uh, something that you can sort of more easily sort of take with you portably uh, as you're working. So you could see it being useful for remote IT professionals uh, or for consumers who just want something that's like thin, light, or not, I mean, it's not as thin as perhaps some things, but it's lightweight, weighs uh, around 430 grams, which I think is a little over a pound maybe. And it uh, is basically a full-fledged Windows PC. Uh, it's got a headset jack here on the front, I forgot to mention. And uh, while the 299 you know, rough estimate price is during a crowdfunding campaign, it's going to be available for a little bit more probably after that. So you can expect that if you don't get in on the early action, you might have to spend a little bit more. Um, just remind myself of the fact that it doesn't have a touchscreen. And uh, let's take a quick look. As I mentioned, it has the uh, Celeron N4100 processor, and this model has How much storage? Uh, we're looking at uh, 128 gigs of storage and four 
gigabytes of RAM. So that's a quick look at the GPD Micro PC. I'm actually gonna have a review unit, so I'll be able to uh, put it through more extensive testing in terms of performance and usability pretty soon. Um, I do like it for thumb typing. I do like that the, uh, it's a small computer, and I really like that it's significantly more affordable and has more ports for uh, connecting uh, gadgets than some of the other models in the lineup. Uh, GPD also recently introduced a new lower cost version of the Pocket, so if you did want a bigger keyboard and uh, aluminum case instead of this plastic case and are willing to pay a little bit more, it sells for about $550, uh, I believe, the, um, and it has an Intel Celeron processor as opposed to the uh, Core M3 processor that you get in the more expensive version, but the um, Micro PC is brand new for 2019. So this is Brad Linder with Little Computing and a first look at the GPD Micro PC. You can find more information about little computers including handhelds and uh, laptops and tablets and all sorts of other stuff at littleputing.com.